हेलो नमस्कार आई एम मनीषा यू आर वॉचिंग गुड मॉर्निंग एलन हियर आर द टॉप अपडेट्स फ्रॉम द वर्ल्ड ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी फॉर दिस वीक इंडिया लॉन्च चंद्रयान थ्री मिशन सक्सेसफुली लेट स्टार्ट विद इंडिया हिस्टोरिक मिशन टू द मून फोर्टीन जुलाई वॉज अ बिग डे फॉर इंडिया द इंडियन स्पेस रिसर्च ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इसरो सक्सेसफुली लॉन्च द चंद्रयान थ्री मिशन फ्रॉम द सतीश धवन स्पेस सेंटर इन श्रीहरिकोटा The mission consists of the main objectives of exhibiting end-to-end capability in safe landing and roving on the lunar surface. The spacecraft is expected to touch down Moon's south pole region on 23rd August. The spacecraft consists of a six-wheel lander and a rover, configured with payloads to provide data related to the Moon's surface. But who made this launch successful? Well, it takes a village. Let us tell you about the team behind Chandrayaan-3 mission. ISRO Chairman S. Somanath, Project Director P. Viramuthuval, the Mission Director S. Mohan Kumar, Vikram Sarabhai Space Center Director S. Unni Krishnan Nair, UR Rao Satellite Center Director M. Sankaran, Launch Authorization Board Chief A. Rajaranjan, Senior Scientist at ISRO Dr. Ritu Karidhal, who is popularly known as India's Rocket Woman and a team of around 54 female engineers scientists have worked directly on the mission iit jodhpur and zoological survey of india are collaborating for climate change research indian institute of technology iit jodhpur and zoological survey of india will be working together to collect study and share the data related to faunal specimens for science In this first of its kind collaboration both the institution will work together on mutually beneficial projects focused on the study of fauna of the Thar ecoregion the duo will conduct joint field work expeditions identify fauna in the region and develop models for climate change based on ecosystem phenomena this collaboration will lead to the growth of science and multidisciplinary sense across the country using artificial intelligence ai and data science as well as various aspects of engineering and technology indian scientists developed super flexible composite semiconductors scientists at the indian institute of science have developed a super flexible composite semiconductor material that can have possible application in next generation flexible or curved displays foldable phones and wearable electronics such as transistors the building blocks of most electronic circuits used in display industries are either made of amorphous silicon or amorphous oxide both of which are not flexible and strain tolerant at all the key to form these connected pathways the researchers found was the choice of the right kind of water insoluble polymer that does not mix with the oxide lattice when the oxide semiconductor is being fabricated NASA's Perseverance rover finds diverse set of organic molecules on Mars. Organic molecules are the key building blocks of life on Earth that are made primarily of carbon and hydrogen and often other elements like oxygen, nitrogen and sulfur. The presence and distribution of preserved organic matter on the surface of Mars can provide key information about the Martian carbon cycle. and the potential of the planet to host life throughout its history the molecules might have been formed by the interaction between water and dust or having been dropped onto the planet by dust or meteors the findings suggest that a more complex system than previously thought may have existed in the past learning more about this organic matter could help experts work out whether there has ever been life on mars So these were the top updates for this week have a good day